Hey, badass business owners. Today, we're going to talk about what is gross margin and why is it important for you to know in your small business? All right, there's going to be four areas we're going to talk about right now is the first one is what is gross margin? Why is it important? What's the difference between gross margin dollars and gross margin percentage? And how do you calculate it all? Now, first up is what is gross margin in the first place? Well, gross margin is basically the money a company makes after deducting its costs of goods from their sales. Basically, it is before any other expenses are paid. Now, it's important to understand that gross margin is expressed as a percentage of the total sales. But we're going to talk about that a little bit more here in a moment. The biggest thing you need to remember is that it's basically your sales minus your cost of goods. Now let's take a look at the number one calculation that if you've been watching the channel that I talk about all the time. As a business owner, you need to remember this one thing. Sales minus your cost of goods equals your expenses, which leaves you the money for your profits. That's the most basic calculation to help you keep in mind the flow of money through your business. So when we're talking about gross margin, it's basically cutting off the bottom half and it's your sales minus your cost of goods. So whenever you hear people talking about your gross margin, just know it's your sales minus your cost of goods. It's real simple. So just to highlight once more, it's basically a company's net sales minus its cost of goods. But you can also do it by product or service because at that point, you're just going to take the price of that product minus its cost of goods. So when you hear gross margin, sometimes they're talking about the particular product or service, or they're talking about the entire business. So it can represent both of them. Now, if you're looking at a profit and loss statement, once again, it's your income, your sales, minus your cost of goods is going to tell you right here, your gross profit. And we're going to show this a little bit more in detail shortly. So hang with me for a minute. It's just your basically your sales and or income minus your cost of goods. It's going to give you that gross profit, which is also part of your gross margin. And I'm going to explain the difference between the two. Now, why is this important for you to know? Well, let's go back to our calculation of sales minus cost of goods minus expenses. It's important because once again, it pays for all of the expenses in your business, but it also is going to determine if you're going to have a profitable business or you're going to make profit off of that particular sale. Now, it's something to keep in mind. Your operational expenses, that's an easy one. It's all the other expenses to run your business. But your profits have to cover three things. They have to cover your taxes, any retained earnings money you reinvest back into the business, as well as your owner's draw. Remember, all the profits are not yours. They have to go to these three things. So your gross margin is going to cover all four of these items, your operational expenses, your taxes, your retained earnings, and your owner's draw. So the big question that your gross margin answers for you is, are you going to be profitable? Now let's talk about gross margin and what's the difference between these dollars and the percentage. Now your gross margin and your gross profit are just two different ways of expressing a similar thing. Remember this line right here, how you had two different numbers? Well, the first number is going to be your gross profit expressed as dollars. So in this case, it's $18,000 is the gross profit that this business is making. Same thing though, sales minus cost of goods. But this percentage over here, this is what gross margin is. Gross margin is technically the percentage, not the dollars. So this is why it gets confusing sometimes because people will hear gross profit, some people will hear gross margin, and they think they're talking about two different things. They're really the same thing. They're just called two different things because one's expressed as dollars and one is expressed as percentage. So the best way to think about it is your gross margin is basically your gross margin dollars expressed as a percentage of sales. It's that simple. It's just the dollars expressed as a percent of sale. Now the question becomes, how do you calculate it out? Well, let's do a couple little quick things here. First off, we already know it's sales minus cost of goods equals your gross profit dollars, right? And your gross margin then is going to take those gross profit dollars 
divide them by your sales, and that's going to give you your gross margin percentage. So your percentage is just the dollars divided by the sales. Because if your sales are 100% of all the money coming in, your gross margin is just saying, hey, this is how much is left after I take away my cost of goods, which is what we did in the previous page. Now let's take a look at a couple of examples. The first one we're going to look at is going to be an example using the total business. So let's just say a business does $25,000 in sales and their cost of goods run $13,000. That means their gross profit dollars are $12,000, right? Sales minus cost of goods leaves them $12,000 for their profit dollars. Now, if we go to the next thing to figure out their gross margin, we're going to take those $12,000 of gross profit dollars, and we're going to divide it by the total sales. When we take the profit dollars minus the sales, we come up with 0.48 or 48%. So the gross margin that this business made this particular month or year, however that 25,000 is doing, was 48% percent. It's that simple. Now, what if we're looking at a single sale? It could be a product, it could be a service. It's going to look very similar to that. We're still going to take the sale, let's say it was 50 bucks, minus the cost of goods, which are going to include the products and any labor hours. So let's just say it's 35 bucks, and that's going to leave $15 for gross profit dollars. Now, in order for us to figure out the gross margin percent, we're going to take that $15 of gross profit dollars, divide it by the sales of $50, and it's going to come up 0.30, or the gross margin is 30%. Hopefully you're following along. Let's take a look at one more quick example here. Gross profit. Let's go over here. Let's say we have a sales price of $20. Cost of goods is $8.50. It tells us the $20 minus the $8.50. We have $11.50 of gross profit. But now we want to know the gross margin. So we still have the same sales price of $20 minus the cost of goods of $8.50 but we now know that we're going to take our gross profit dollars of 1150 divide it by the total sales and it's going to tell us that our gross margin is 0.575 move the decimal over two spots we find out that our gross margin percentage is 57.5% Hopefully that is making it really easy for you to understand what is gross margin and how do you figure that out. Now let's do a quick recap, shall we? Gross margin, once again, is the percent left over to cover your expenses and profits. It's after sales minus your cost of goods. Your gross margin is going to have to cover your expenses, your taxes, your retained earnings, and any owner's draw. That's why it's important for you to know what your gross margin dollars and your gross margin percentage is. And the way you're going to figure it out, if you need to know the dollars, it's going to be your sales minus your cost of goods is going to tell you what your gross profit is. And to figure out your gross margin, it's gross profit divided by the total sales. That's how you come up with the percentage. It's that simple. Now it's really important as you know to know your business numbers so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss a chance to learn your business numbers better and don't forget there is a know your business numbers course in the show notes to help you out. Now get out there and be the badass business owner that I know you are.